All right, today, Michelle and I are trying the brand new Christmas Vacation products, okay? So uh, these were bought exclusively, uh, sold exclusively by FYE. You know about FYE? It's a website. We don't have one here in Nevada. Anyway, we uh, so we ordered these things. I collect all things Christmas Vacation. Now, we're going to try some of the products, and some of them we're just going to show you because some of them are ridiculous. So we're going to start with the Christmas Vacation hot sauce. Almost like we planned it. If your knee knocks into this, it looks like we're having an earthquake. Did you notice that? Yeah. All right, now here we go. This, folks, at home, is the Mary Clarkmas. Oh, what are you laughing about? Did the joke start already? I didn't realize. This is the Mary Clarkness, Clarkness, Clarkness. Mary Clark Miss Habanero hot sauce. Now, when I ordered this, it looked like it was it was it was $20, but it was on sale for 10. I got it for 10. That's a deal, right? And uh, I thought it was going to be like a big jug, a big jug of hot sauce. And then I got this little uh, uh, dinky bottle. But uh, it says this is a full blown four alarm holiday emergency, which is a line from the movie. And then you see the cat, spoiler alert, the cat uh, doesn't have nine lives. Anyway, if he did, he's used up all of them. Fried pussy cat. Okay, so we're not going to taste this. This is obviously generic. Oh, you want to put it back? Oh, well, thank you. Uh, uh, it's obviously generic hot sauce um, with a Christmas vacation label. So they had a few things. They also had a one pound milk chocolate Mary Clark Miss. Oh, well, here it is now. One pound milk chocolate Mary Clark Miss bar. I'm sure this is also a very generic chocolate. And I'm not going to open this thing. They're going to go into my collection. This says one pound of milk chocolate bar. Hey, Griswold, where do you think you're going to put a candy bar that big? And then what would the answer be? Just like we rehearsed it. Bend over and I'll show you. Come on. I haven't seen this. You know that. Oh, you should never tell people that. Ugh, I'm sorry. It's the hate mail you're going to get. So Michelle, is, so she saw National Lampoon's Vacation Part 1 yesterday for the first time. And this holiday season, she's going to see Christmas Vacation. But you, now you're going to say she's one of those posers who wears the shirt and hasn't seen the movie. But it's my shirt. And on the back it says Squirrel. And for those of you who had a good upbringing, unlike Michelle, you've already seen the movie and you are familiar with the squirrel scene. Michelle was abused, obviously, uh, by never seeing these movies. Okay, let's let's get started. I'm a diabetic. Did you know that? And uh, I probably shouldn't even be eating all of this horrible uh, chocolate. But let's start with the one that I don't really have any interest in. This one is called uh, The Shitter is Full uh, Fudge Filled Chocolate Bar. Cousin Eddie's The Shitter is Full. Uh, it would be so much more funny if she would watch the movie. I think it's kind of gross that you call a candy bar The Shitter is Full. And then you fill it with fudge. I don't, uh, I was actually almost not going to buy this one. It sounds disgusting. It's good until 10, 10 of 22, by the way. So we got to try it. We're going to try a little piece, little piece, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, this, uh, sorry, first time opening a chocolate bar. This, uh, this, this is the one I'm least interested in. So we'll start with this one. And if you guys want to order this, you can go on uh, FYE. And I probably don't make any commission or anything else of that sort. Show the audience. This is the whole point of this. This is an unboxing. This is an unveiling. This is Michelle's first video. Okay, so here it is. Look, look at that. Little hunks. I wish this had the uh, CB. Uh, oh, Jesus. Look how messy this is. It's, it's, it's disgusting. I, mean, I don't know how to eat this. This part. <laughs> so I'm going to take a bite. Oh, you take a bite. I mean, I suppose we should have drinks. Clean our palate. So I suppose if you like fudge, it's okay. Need some. Tastes like fudge chocolate, and the name is a little off-putting. You never saw the movie, so you don't understand it. Um, yeah. I, don't, I would put that in the souvenir 
department. You know, it's funny. It's a gag. It's a good gag gift. That's a stocking stuffer for somebody who loves uh, vaca Christmas vacation or their cousin Eddie. Here's a weird one. This is uh, the Aunt Bethany bar. <laughs> now, I bet you're wondering, wh whose idea was this? Now, this, cat food not included. If you've seen the movie, you know that she likes to wrap up things, including her cat. This one is Aunt Bethany graham cracker white chocolate flavored with key lime and other natural flavors. This is also good until 10, 11, 22. Oh dear, did I break wind, okay? And uh, that would be funny if you saw the movie. You at home are laughing hysterically and you can see the gift that she wraps right there. So this is the Aunt Bethany. Graham cracker and key lime sounds kind of interesting to me. This one also opens much better. I like white chocolate. Michelle, you're not a fan of the white chocolate, are you? I don't mind. You want to smell it? Smells you like me, key lime pie. You tell me you don't like white chocolate. Seven. Are you going to lie to millions and millions of people? Okay, this also comes in the uh, dispensary style. Here, we don't need to just take it. That's yours. <laughs> Ready? Be hard. Mm. Wow. I like that better. Tastes like key lime pie? It tastes like key lime pie. It had the key lime has a real bite to it. Mm -hmm. um, if you, uh, if this was sold at a local dispensary here in Las Vegas, if you, if you know what I'm saying, uh, something like that. Um, <laughs> well, this is, it's a little strong, right? Yeah, it is. It has a crunchy little crunches in it, right? What's the graham cracker? Graham cracker, you call that? Yes. I like it. Is that a new, new thing? You notice we're wearing our shirts. I'm having a fun old-fashioned family Christmas, and Michelle is sporting the uh, Mary Clark mess. This is the one that I've anxiously awaited. This is the fun old-fashioned family Christmas Marty Moose eggnog-flavored milk chocolate. Obviously, I'm going to hope that I can put in some insert shots of these things here because this reflection is ridiculous. I shouldn't be covering your face, your pretty face. We should cover my not-so-pretty face. So, so far, what do you think? Key lime pie one wins so far. Key lime pie. Now, you've never had eggnog, believe no. it or not. I believe the eggnog... I was deprived. Yeah, well, you were yeah, an abuse, allegedly. <laughs> the... the you better not tell your parents to watch. The eggnog, oh, it has a little, look at that. Something in there. The, uh, I mean, it's rotten. The, the, there you go. I see his little bites. Because I think the eggnog one should have been white chocolate. Here we go. It's rich. Um, I feel my blood sugar rising. I mean, it's not terrible, although it's a little artificial, a little plastic or something. Fake tasting. The other one's better. Okay. Let's recap. These, look, these are all fun novelty gifts. I think if someone... Uh, Stuff this in my stocking, I would appreciate it. I would really like this. I think it's cute and funny. And I think when people put a candy bar in your stocking stuffer, your stuff at your stocking, that it doesn't matter uh, really what it is. It's a gag gift. And you can buy these things for $2.99. You know what I mean? Can't go really wrong. I need a drink, though, because uh, these things are so damn so damn rich. But we should show off the, the berry and nuts. Can you reach the berry and nuts down there? Hold on. She's reaching for the nuts right now. Okay. <laughs> so this is, you get it? Let me show. It's inappropriate. Nuts about Christmas. Berry nutty mix. This is a very, very nutty mix. Comes with peanuts, honey roasted peanuts, two different types of peanuts, cranberries, 
cashews, and pumpkin seeds. Doesn't sound that great to me, but that's a squirrel. squirrel it sounds seed. like squirrel, squirrel mix. Squirrel mix, yeah. yeah. Nuts about Christmas. Squirrel, anyway. And so you can get this on there, too. I can't remember what the hell this costs. It might come with some little stickers or something in there. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I think this thing is 10 bucks. Probably get this at the dollar store without the Christmas thing on it. But anyway, so that and the habanero, I don't feel like I mix, uh, bother with. The Marty Moose thing, uh, this is the best one. The key lime pie one probably is tasty. I probably, if you want to have a nice candy bar, people. And this, look, look how funny that is, Aunt Bethany, played by Mae Castell. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, May Castell, Questel, I think it's Castell, whatever the hell I just said, she is also the voice of Betty Boop. Did you know that? That's no. the original voice of Betty Boop. Christmas Vacation had a lot of old stars. To, uh, you know, obviously, uh, almost all have passed away of the, the, the family, but, you know, the uh, in-laws and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, uh, May Questel, uh, Betty Boop. So, and then the Shitter's Full, Cousin Eddie chocolate i mean i think if you have someone in your family who likes toilet humor her who's a little gross uh, who relates to cousin eddie uh, this is funny it's obviously one of the funnier scenes in the movie and so if you uh know someone you know stock this st uh, stuff it stuff it in their stocking and then if you know somebody who really you know either enjoys milk chocolate or really loves christmas vacation um you know this could be a fun Thing, Delvin. I really need a, a, a beverage. You. Anyway, this was our uh, this was our tasting and unboxing and unwrapping. You know what I mean? Show people the pops, the Christmas vacation pops, right there. I'll show you something that's much better than the uh, the food. This is the Clark and Eddie Fye. This is also an Fye exclusive. Long time ago, it's long out of print. This is vaulted, very rare. Clark and Eddie. Um, Funko Pops. Very cool. Much cooler than um, this horrible chocolate. <laughs> anyway, we thank you for joining. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. What would you like to say? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was very well said. Thank you. Yeah. We'll join you again with some other pointless things. Do you think anyone got anything out of this? Hope so. You know what I got out of this? A chocolate recommendation. Diabetes. <laughs> See you soon.